Depending on the options chosen during installation, you may see several new desktop icons. For example, notice that I have separate icons for running the software as if it were AutoCAD, as well as for starting the metric and global versions. Additionally, there will be icons for Autodesk 360 and Autodesk Recap. Notice that when I right-click on the icon labeled U.S. Imperial and then choose the Properties option, on the shortcut tab, the Target option specifies the product and the profile that will be used when you start the software. Each desktop icon starts the software using the appropriate profile. Notice that you can also specify a Start In folder, which could be a folder on a network drive. I'll click Cancel to close this. I'll launch AutoCAD Architecture using the U.S. Imperial Profile by double-clicking on the U.S. Imperial icon. Note that if you are migrating from an earlier version of the product, you will see a migration screen. I'll clear all of the checkboxes and then click OK. The Migrate Custom Settings dialog box appears. Since I don't want to view the log file, I'll click No. You'll see a splash screen while the program loads. As I am running in trial mode, the next screen is Welcome to your trial. You will be prompted to sign in to register your trial using your Autodesk ID and password. If you do not have an account yet or have forgotten your password, there are prompts for those options. There is also an Exit Trial button on the bottom right. After filling in the ID and password, click Sign In. If successful, the next screen welcomes you to your trial. I'll click Continue. The number of days left in the trial is displayed on the left, while there are several options along the bottom. If you have your serial number at this point, click the Enter Serial Number button. I'll click the Continue Trial button. The next screen is divided into three sections. On the left is Get Started. Clicking the icon creates a new drawing using the template specified for QNew in the Options dialog box. There is a Templates drop-down arrow listing other template files to use, as well as a Create New Sheet Set option. Below this are tools to open files, project, or a sheet set. There is also an Explore Sample Drawings option. The middle section lists recent documents that have been opened, as well as three tools at the middle bottom to change the display in this section. On the right at the top are notifications. The number of notifications are listed and you may scroll to see them. Below this is Connect. You may sign in to Autodesk 360 or send feedback from here. I'll click the Start Drawing Image. In the lower right corner, you may see a performance tuner balloon indicating that AutoCAD Architecture has reviewed and optimized itself based on your graphics card. You can click on the link in the balloon to view the optimization results. You can also manually adjust those using the 3D config command. We have successfully launched AutoCAD Architecture for the first time.